no, you're wrong. You're stupid. You don't understand yourself. You don't understand the world. You don't know anything about your own feelings. You're invalid. You're actually benefits of being ugly. Let's find out. Okay. How being ugly is a blessing. How being ugly is a blessing. Look at me. Look at all, look at all my blackheads. Look at that. Look at them. Look at my hairline. Ugly. Look at how pale I am. Yeah, hairline. I'm, I almost become invisible as I, as I walk back. True story, right? Sort of. See, let's define ugly. Okay. We know what ugly is not. Ugly is not. He's not ugly to you. Interesting. Well, we don't want to invalidate his experience. Feeling ugly. His feeling. He feels ugly, apparently. That's all you know. Yeah. Super pale. Is he albino? He looks a little bit albino to me. Is he just pale or is he uh, albino? I don't know. What's on Vogue? Ugly is not what's on, you know, GQ. That's not ugly. Society has a standard, and everybody who does not meet—he's got a lazy eye. And they he's a ginger. Short. He's a ginger. Is he just ginger, or is he—is he just a pale ginger, or is he albino? Albino has white hair. Okay, so he's just a pale ginger. Interesting, with a lazy eye, and a little bit of an asymmetrical face. Or maybe he colored his hair. Well, his eyebrows are white, so isn't that generally the natural color? His eyebrows and his like, uh, his mustache is a little bit white too. But his his goatee is red and his hair is red. I think he dyed it. And the further along you get, in terms of how you look physically, you become more and more ugly. Mm -hmm. The for, the further you look from GQ, the further you look from you know, uh, whatever women's magazine there is, you're ugly. Yeah. And that's how the world will see you, and that's how society will treat you. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm standing here to explain to you how I was treated as such. Okay, let's I'm hear ugly. It. Now, I am okay with the way I look. You know, I think I look a little. I think I look good. You know, a little bit. You know, but <laughs> I'm ugly, but I think I look good, bro. I think I look good. Okay. <laughs> I understand that in a way I am ugly because even further from how everybody can see, there's a natural way of things. I am not that. I am not the natural look. I stick out. True. So imagine having to. So I'll I'll go through how it was when I grew up. I can't tell if he's tall. Is he tall? I can't tell. Um. Yeah. Interesting. When I grew up, it was everybody treats me like I'm radioactive. Some people would come to come in contact with me. Some people would want to get to know me, but mostly everybody around me, especially in elementary school, it was almost like being around me was dangerous to their health. Uh -huh. It was it was like being around me um, tainted their reputation as a social in a social hierarchy sense. Like, sure, yeah, yeah. if you were a cool person, hanging around me was not cool because look, look at, look at. I look like a freaking. <laughs> Looks healthy though. Like one of the mushrooms you see in your garden growing, the white ones, or like an iPod charger or something. Like I, I'm just like I literally stick out. So, at a young age, I got to understand that like, I got to understand just how naturally evil people are. Because they only really care about themselves. What? What a big jump. What a second. I was on board so far, but dang, he, he made a big leap there. Are people naturally eagle because they don't like ugly folks? Or that happen? Can be. Okay, well, let's find out. What does he mean by that? Because hanging around me, even though we would laugh and even though we would be friendly with each other, because you didn't want other people to look at you a certain way, oh, we can't hang out. And that's just one example. As evil? But how was that a blessing? How was that a blessing? Because what it taught me at a young age is that people are very fickle and they will, they will turn their back on you. Your friends will do it. People you just, very, people you just meet. People will be insulting. They'll, they'll hurt you for no reason. Because, well, they might, they might have the reasons, but it doesn't necessarily matter what the reasons are. But it's okay. Because... I also got to experience 
friends who I still know to this day in elementary school who stuck with me from kindergarten, literally to now. Oh, I know people who are... Do you have any friends from kindergarten? I don't have any friends from kindergarten. But, um, okay. So maybe it is a bit of it because he's so pale, maybe? Maybe? Not like that. So there's a dichotomy. Mm. But I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go to saying, oh, man, I hate these people. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe people are like that. Why, why, why does the world have to be like this? And you got one from kindergarten? That's cool, man. Dang, I got no friends from kindergarten. No. Is it because I'm ugly? What, what's going on? And all of a sudden, I, I, I shoot up a school, or all of a sudden, I become, um, you know, hurtful to others because I'm trying to inflict how I'm feeling on them. And it's a blessing because God kind of, like, showed me, like, look, it's, it's all right, man. It's okay. It's okay to what? It's okay to not be accepted by the group. And this is the point of this video. See, everybody wants to be accepted. Everybody seeks validation. Whether they're contorting their body and they're trying to poke out their butt and they're sitting on a bathroom sink and they're taking a selfie to show on Instagram for a bunch of likes. Whether they got their shirt off and they're trying to show their six pack and how much they can lift in the gym. Whether they're trying to show the shell of a person that they are when they spend massive amounts of money and they, and they have all these trinkets that they can show to the world. Okay, this sounds like uh, this sounds like he's just being bitter at the moment. I, I mean, <laughs> the beginning sounded fine. He was just talking about his own personal experience, but then he turned to a corner calling people evil, and now he's just like, he seems to be um, deriding, deriding is that the disparaging? Maybe that's a better word. I don't know. Disparaging people who are popular on Instagram. He says they're contorting their body, you know, doing the sort of uh, pelvic tilt to make their butt look bigger or stand out a little bit more. Uh, that thing that girls do in the in the mirror selfies, you know what he's talking about. Um, he sounds ugly. Do you mean that because he's bitter, or do you mean that his voice? I think the bitterness is coming out a little bit more. He sounds like uh, you know we're getting some incel type stuff, come, a little bit, a little bit, just a tingsy wingsy bit. All right, we don't have to make fun of people who are pretty, or people who are successful, or people who are, like have six packs, and there's no reason to do that. It's fine. They're different, but we don't need to call them like shells of human beings. That's not always the case. Some people are. Don't, I don't think he is that ugly. Well, he feels ugly. I think we can agree that he feels ugly. Um, you know, I don't want to invalidate his, uh, his own personal feelings. Okay. He feels ugly. I mean, he doesn't look he didn't look like somebody I would run away from. I don't, that whole thing that he was talking about, people wouldn't want to be around him because he sticks out. That seems a little strange, but you know, as kids, it makes sense for kids, I guess. But generally now, I guess like, it seems like he doesn't seem like a person that would be like off-putting. Doesn't, doesn't look that ugly at least. Certainly I wouldn't call him particularly attractive though. Uh, he feels ugly, so we'll, we'll give him that. He's ugly, he feels ugly. He's being rude, rude. He's being rule. He's being rude. A lot of it is to satisfy cravings for. He's being real. Wait, he's being real. A lot of it for satisfying cravings of validation. A lot of him being real is for satisfying a craving for validation. I don't think that's what you meant. What people take pictures is for satisfying cravings of validation. Sure, but people embrace ugliness for satisfying for satisfying their cravings and validation and attention too. I don't think there's any problem with that. Like a lot of people are growing and changing and trying to figure their stuff out. But there are lots of people who are legitimately, um, whatever that may mean, just cool on Instagram and very popular influencers or whatever. And that's just kind of how they how they be naturally. Uh, potentially, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. To, to say, look, look, validate me, please, approve me, please, everybody, see. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's, it's easier for me not to do that. True, bro. Oh, man, that's so cool, man. I like that you don't like validations, bro. Oh, my gosh. Bro, you're not ugly. You just got an original look. You look like a fashion model. This is the most upvoted comment. <laughs> so we don't want to do this, all right? I mean, 
I don't think he's asking for that much validation, all right? I do think he's asking for a little bit of validation, but we don't want to be to this level. You're not ugly at all. You have an original look. Now, I mean, I guess some people are fishing for compliments sometimes. I don't think he's doing that. Not particularly. It doesn't seem like he's doing that. But let's look at his, uh, maybe he has a comment. Maybe he is. Thanks a bunch. I can't tell. I can't tell if he's being polite or if he's actually liking the validation. But essentially what happens is, what can happen? Right, so we don't. We just want to be aware of this. What can happen if somebody says I'm ugly, and another person I says I'm not ugly, nor is the person in this video. Also, seven octillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven <laughs> septillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven sextillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven quintillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven quadrillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven trillion, seven hundred and seventy-seven billion, seven hundred and seventy-seven million, seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand, seven hundred and seventy-seven. So <clears throat> we want to be aware that this is important, okay? This is more important than sevens. All right, when somebody says, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. And then this other person comes around and says, no, you're wrong. You're stupid. You don't understand yourself. You don't understand the world. You don't know anything about your own feelings. You're invalid. You're actually pretty. That's how it comes off sometimes. Sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes. So we want to be aware of this. If somebody says, I'm ugly, and you say, no, you're wrong, you're stupid, you don't understand anything, you're pretty, that is not a good way to respond to somebody. So if somebody comes off and they look like this dude, let's look at them, and they say, you're not ugly, you're a fashion model, that's not an appropriate response. Just want to throw it out there. Now, sometimes people are fishing for compliments, that could be the case. Okay, then, you know, give them the compliment. But sometimes it's very, very invalidating. So we don't want to do that too much. Um, um, some people don't understand the comments. They they keep focusing on your looks as if you need validation. Again, yeah, so some people are giving more validation. Maybe you heard the video wrong. I listened to it twice. But I get the impression this is something you're over, you've overcome a long time ago. Well, I don't know about that. Seems a little bitter still. You feel no insecurity from your looks and grown acceptance. You have accepted it. You see, it seems like a thoughtful comment, bro. You went if you went to my school in elementary school, I'd be your friend. Oh man, people are people are evil. Everyone is evil. People looked at me and they ran away. Oh bro, I wouldn't have run away. Come on, man. If you were a kid, you'd probably run away from him. All right. He's, he's tall. He's pale. He looks weird. All right. If you're a kid. Definitely now, maybe not. But as a kid, come on, come on. Um, he's definitely not ugly. All right, okay. Doesn't look ugly to me, okay. You look cool like a superhero, wow. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. This again, imagine, you know, imagine telling the world, expressing your feelings. Oh my gosh, I'm so ugly and I wanna help all the ugly people out there. And all you get is like people saying that you're not ugly. like. I'm not that stupid, bro. Come on. Look at me. <laughs> I'm ugly, okay? <laughs> Come on. I think it was because I'm ugly. Because as I'm ugly, I understand that. It's okay to not be accepted. People didn't like me in high school, in kindergarten, in college, right now, at the Walmart I walk to, whenever I sit on a bus stop, people don't like me because of the way I look. But some will. Makes sense. But most importantly, it's okay because I'm not dead yet. No one accepts me. A lot of people don't accept me. People run away from me. People gawk at me gawk. because of my skin color, but it's okay. True. I'm not dead. I'm not going to do anything. It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. But how does this translate to... Okay, he's not dead. Weird foundation of something this. Before we engage in any arguments, we foresee that whether the words we are using are inherently our own or comes from society, or if it comes from society, no need to argument. The word is a culture of its own. Nearly all of our concepts come from the collective consciousness, and there's no need to defend it. Oh, wow. Or emit. Oh, wow. True. But, um, to, the, to the real blessing. And here's the real blessing. What's the blessing, my bro? I can speak what's morally right. I can, I can say, I can tell people the truth because I don't care about the consequence of how they feel.
the blessing is <laughs> wow yeah i feel like this is not a very this is not based um okay he's I, ugly so he's better than us because he's doesn't you know he, he doesn't need our he doesn't need our validation so he's better than us and he wants us to know it uh okay I can be who I need to be and who I'm supposed to be and who I know God wants me to be. I'm more authentic than all the pretty people out here. Because I'm okay with the consequence of people shunning me, people hating me. Now I know I know I'm I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go there a little bit, or I'm gonna go it there. Sounds like cope to me. Sounds like a whole lot of cope. Um, I'm not buying it. A little bit on you. Okay, go on. See, the Bible says, followers of Christ says, followers of me will be hated because they first hated me. So it's only natural that they're going to hate you. But you rejoice in that. You find, you find comfort and peace in that. And the fact that you're doing the right thing. And, that's the, and that is the method as to which you will know. When you are not a friend of the world, when the world does not like you, that's when you know you're doing things right. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about, you know, if you become like a like a like a Jew killer or something like that, or or you like lynching people, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying when you stand up for what's right, and you get what? persecuted for you believe them, okay? Whether it be on a small scale or on a got some believers in chat, some some little skeptical. I'm not sure about this. Uh, okay, I don't think Did it's you a good. Do you like my voice? I'm just asking cause I like you smile. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be quite a bit. I don't know if he's uh yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea to get your validation based on how much people hate you, right? So he's saying like he's correct because people don't like him, because people don't like the Lord. It's just like a weird measurement. Um so if people don't like you, as long as you're not killing Jews or lynching people, if people don't like you, you're probably right. This is such a weird standard. <laughs> weird. Big. Very strange. Find peace in that because you know that your your validation comes from up top. It doesn't come from people around you. And that's what I'm trying to explain. Okay. I have a confidence because I'm ugly. I have a confidence that I I've been with people, with, with women who are very pretty, but they're the most insecure schizophrenic people you'll ever meet they 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 they, they don't True. like themselves and I, I don't get it it's like the most weirdest thing some of the most attractive women are like they're the most fragile things on the planet in the mind and the spirit and the heart because they don't know their life list their life exists in a vacuum of validation that's just one example but I had I had to I had to grow up very very early as a child to understand these things. Not saying that I had to do it, but God showed me these things. God spoke to me. God God drew me to these to these to these realities at a young age, and it helped it helped who I am today. See, now I got real confidence. Now I have real value because it doesn't come from the external world. It wow. is not the. It is not. That's not the focal point of my validation. My validation comes from God and doing what's right. Wow. Blessing, blessings. All right. Okay. I mean, you know, a little bit of good, a little bit of bad. You know, I mean, not terrible. Not great. Not terrible though. So yeah, whatever. Who told this man he looks ugly? He literally looks like an angel. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for the compliment. Wow. Oh, and we got another, we got a person. Okay, we got a real, we got a real one in here. We got a real one. Take the red pill. Okay, he's a, he's probably a doomer. Stop denying his reality by telling him he's looking good. He's living in a reality and he's sharing it with you with lessons from there. True. Please. True. Love this comment. Not that you care. Okay, cool. Exactly. Exactly. Maybe it's in his head and he's way above, uh, but maybe it's in his head. He's way above average and I'm hot judging him from my standard. I'm confused, but I haven't watched the video yet. The title caught my attention and his face. This person is a memer. This is silly. This guy is not way above average. Who's ugly? 
Okay, dude's ugly. I think he's uber hot. Wow. Bro, you look like an angel. Wow. Everyone treat me like I'm ready. My heart. Now that, that's a good comment. That's a good comment right there. Because that's heartbreaking. Wow. Bakery, you are just jelly. I'm just jelly. No, man. I'm, I, I, it's just messed up, bro. Man, I, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't want this to be perpetuated in our society where somebody expresses their feelings and they say something. They're like, oh man, I feel dumb. Somebody says, I'm dumb. I feel dumb. And you come around and you say, no, you're stupid and you don't understand your reality and you don't understand yourself. You're actually really smart. How stu How silly. Let's not invalidate people. I'm ugly. No, no, you're dumb. And you're pretty. Come on. Come on now, guys. Um, that hurts my soul very deeply. And to see all these comments telling him that he's good looking is just stupid. He's not good looking. He's ugly. Look at him. He's ugly. Do you like good energy? Like, comment, and subscribe for more.